Hey folks, and how's it going? Today we're looking at lots of rows. So we need to return the number of rows that are in this table. Probably 12 or 13, I'm not sure. So let's go into Tosca, and we can see I've already created a folder. Let's do a quick scan and see what we get out of it. Now we're looking for row count. So that's, that's just a standard uh, attribute. And we can see we have the, the table itself and then the row count field. Let me close and save. Both were recognized straight away. If we go into our module, we can now drag it into our test case, which is in work. And we have, we're working with a row, so we need to, we don't need that, we don't need any of that, okay? What we want to do is row count, and then we need to buffer that into row, number of rows. Let's take this as well, because we're going to need that in a second, okay? And then we're going to need to place that in here. Buffer. Okay, now this wasn't recognized, because why are we selecting it? We need to buffer it. Okie dokie. Well, okay, so. It's probably a better way to do that. I'd love for you to tell me. So let's try and run it. Oh, it's verifying required licenses. I hope my license hasn't expired. Oh, it looks like we've lost the internet down here. Okay. Device manager is causing problems. Something, something wrong with this little uh, real tech thing. I'm working off an Asus Republic of Gamer thing. Oh, even though I disabled it, got the license and I got the number of rows. Okay, cool. So, what I find unusual is that. Oh, maybe that's what it was. It's because I just typed it in like that. It didn't recognize it, but if I put a dot in front of it, it recognizes it. Okay. So, again and again, what was the last one we did, and it was a pretty. I was pretty happy with the shape, the shape of that one. So I'm I'm going to reuse that. We don't need the while loop. We don't need the last step either. We just need to verify. So what we can do is drag that in there, drag it up, and what do we need to do now? We need to rename it. Count. Buffer the tables row count. So let's try it again, the whole thing. And let's see if. Uh, okay. Let's close the browser. Run that. Kill the browser. That's great. Start it from the top. <laughs> That's hilarious. You have found an obstacle even we didn't solve yet. Touche. Tricentus touche. Um, open the URL for the obstacle. Right. Okay, cool. That's the problem. Let's go to the obstacle course. Did you guys spot what the problem was? I didn't specify the the ID. The test configuration. It will now run. Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna have two copies. Yeah, that's the problem. Boom, boom, get rid of both. Kill that. Maybe sometime today would be nice for you, for you to do that. Cool. Alright, start it again. Don't know about you, but I didn't even see it. I didn't even see that happening. Okay. Ah, I have to click on click me. All right. So, let's go to the module. Do we have click me? No, we do not. Okay, so let's rescan that. funny how some of these obstacles it will automatically tell you if you type in the right number it'll just say hey congratulations you did it and sometimes it won't so we need click me and it's identifiable save it there it is there we go into the test case and we have click me and now just for drama Let's see if it runs. A nice big bad practice click. Oh yeah, there we go. Happy days. Let me try again. Cool. Get rid of that horrible click, turn it into an X and use some direct steering. Now, let's uh, kill that off and run it from the top. Super. Worked. Excellent. Happy days. At this point, you send it to review, and hopefully they give you back good feedback, and they like what you've done. And then you set it to completed. And then that both are done. Let's go to the, uh, the obstacle course. Alright guys and girls, that's it. Thanks very much. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.